During the first week of this year, Islamist militants captured an army base in Borno, Nigeria, and reportedly massacred hundreds of civilians in nearby towns. These satellite images show the aftermath of the violence. It was part of a string of escalating attacks by Boko Haram, the same group that kidnapped more than 270 high school students last year. The group dates back to 2001, but became much more violent starting in 2009. In the past few years, the attacks have grown increasingly frequent and brutal, threatening to destabilize Africa's most populous country. Boko Haram wants to replace Nigeria's democratic government with an extremist theocracy. Still, because they operate out of the northeastern states, most of their victims have been the poorer Muslim communities that live there. Broadly speaking, Nigeria's population is split between Christians, mostly in the south, and Muslims, mostly in the north. This dates back to British colonial rule, when distinct ethno-linguistic societies were stitched together to form Nigeria's current borders. Poverty, health, literacy, they're all worse in the north than the south and the violence only contributes to the marginalization of the region. Poor government, high unemployment, and low school attendance set the stage for Boko Haram. And the government's security forces have alienated much of the North by at times doing nothing to stop the attacks, and other times detaining and killing people indiscriminately. An investigative report by Frontline revealed that civilian militias working with the Nigerian military have carried out mass executions of seemingly innocent men. The government's inability to contain Boko Haram became a major campaign issue in the lead up to this year's national elections. President Goodluck Jonathan and his opponent, former dictator Muhammadu Buhari, promised to stamp out the insurgency. Jonathan, a Christian, was already really unpopular in much of the North. When he ran for office in 2011, he violated an informal agreement that the presidency would alternate between a Muslim and a Christian every eight years. Hundreds of people were killed in the riots that followed that election. So when Nigeria postponed the 2015 elections by six weeks, citing security concerns, the delay was viewed by many as a political move to help Jonathan regain the ground lost to his opponent. In the meantime, neighboring countries agreed to send forces to battle Boko Haram, which now controls most of the state of Borno and is declared a caliphate there. But ultimately, it will take much more than military force to make Nigeria inhospitable to terrorism. 